Today, we get with a roofing expert to see what makes a beautiful and long-lasting roof for your home. We'll show you how you can eliminate clogging debris in your rain gutters. We'll check out the latest in sump pump backup systems and alarms. As any longtime homeowner will tell you, eventually your home will need a new roof. After years of exposure to the elements, materials age and their performance could be weakened. When a homeowner does need to purchase a new roof to protect their home, it's often an unplanned expenditure. It's also a good time to make the best of it. For many of us, our homes are our greatest investment. We want them to withstand the forces of nature, but we also want them to look good too. They also provide protection against ice, water, cold, and heat. What goes into your new roof may even affect your utility bills. We're here in Concord, Ohio, where a new roof is in the process of being installed on this home. Joining us today is Brian Ray from Owens Corning Roofing. He brought along his pal, the Pink Panther. Thanks so much for joining us on Designing Spaces today. Great to be here. They're going to talk about how a healthy, high-performing roof gets installed and what it's made out of. Now, not all roofs and roofing products are the same, are they? No. It's funny. Homeowners will educate themselves on the automobiles they purchase, the vacations they take, or even the smartphones they buy. At Owens Corning, we encourage them to do just as much education on all the pieces and parts and roofing components that go into a high-performance roof system to protect your most prized possessions. Brian, the big question I have for you is how do you know when to replace a roof? It's a good question. A good rule of thumb is the older the roof, the more it needs to be inspected. So periodically doing visual inspections, especially in those vulnerable parts of your roof, the eaves, the valley, or better yet, contacting a roofing contractor to do a closer inspection might help you identify a problem before it becomes a much bigger issue. Once the idea sinks in about replacing your roof, homeowners can actually have a lot of fun uh, picking out the right shingle and style that fits their personality. It's a major design element and can really enhance your curb appeal. You use the term high performance roofing system. What exactly does that mean? Well, I mean the roof is greater than the sum of its parts. So it's an integrated, designed, engineered, total protection roofing system that really delivers ultimate performance. All right, so there's more to it than just shingles. Absolutely, it's the key components below the shingles and above the shingles that are really designed and engineered to help withstand the forces of nature and deliver long-term performance. Can you teach me a little bit more about the components you mentioned? Sure, I'd love to. We'll catch up with you a little later, Pink Panther. At Owens Corning, there's seven key components in the total protection roofing system. One of the most overlooked ones is ventilation. And at Owens Corning, we really approach it as two different types of ventilation. You've got intake vents, which allow fresh, dry air to enter the attic, and then exhaust vents, which allow that hot, stale, moist air to be exhausted into the environment. Okay, so we'll talk more about ventilation on another episode of Designing Spaces, but what's the next component? Well, the first component the roofing contractor is going to install is what we call self-adhered underlayments, or in some areas they're called ice and water barriers. Um, they're required by code, and they're key to helping mitigate any damage to your home due to ice dams. They're specially formulated with rubber and applied right to the deck and actually seal around the nail as they install the shingles from above. And so because of this, we're going to install this on the most vulnerable areas of your roof, on the eaves, the valleys, or even skylights and penetrations, anywhere where we want them to be waterproof. I can see how important this component is, and we haven't even really started talking about shingles yet. No, we're, we're almost there, but not quite yet. <laughs> So next, we're going to install the underlayment on the rest of the roof. Now, this is key to helping keep the, the deck dry uh, prior to the shingles being installed. They also help with wind-driven rain once the shingles are installed. Now, the underlayment can be either traditional organic felts or synthetic materials, which have a higher tear strength and are less susceptible to wrinkling. Next, we have starter shingle. Now, this is really your first course of shingle and is applied right on the lower eave and places the sealant bead right at the lower edge of the roof, which can contribute to a higher wind performance for the overall roof. Now, some contractors may try to cut corners and use a traditional three tab, but it really doesn't place the sealant bead right on that edge, so you might be compromising some wind performance. Now we've gotten to the part of the re-roof job that most people think about. It's the shingles themselves. 
The job of the shingle is really to provide that weather protection, but also an aesthetic value. So this is where homeowners can really have fun. There's a lot of different sizes and shapes and colors to choose from. So they should reach out to their roofing contractor to find the one that meets their needs. All right, so you mentioned different colors and shapes and sizes. What kind of shingle is this? So now that's the final component of the total protection roofing system. This is a hip and ridge shingle, which is specially designed to bend over the roof's contours at the peak and provide exceptional aesthetics and wind performance. Very impressive. Now you mentioned earlier some people decide to cut corners. So what happens if they use a product that's not specifically designed for hip and ridge? So you could be sacrificing performance at that area and even some visual aspects like the shadow line here to really make that ridge pop. You know, where we do see roof failures, they tend to be at the peak. So certainly you want a high performance product at those areas. Can you tell us more about some of the warranties offered? Homeowners do have an option to get a warranty on the total protection roofing system. Owens Corning also has a national network of roofing contractors that meet strict standards and professionalism. It's these contractors that we trust with our best warranties. Okay, so where can viewers get more information? They can go to owenscorning.com forward slash roofing to learn more about the roofing system and find a contractor in your area. All right, Brian, thanks so much for joining us here where these homeowners are getting a new total protection roofing system installed. And as always, if you want to view this episode again, all you to do is log online to designingspaces.tv and while you're there you can also find a link to the Owens Corning website. Here in Concord, Ohio, I'm Nicole Marcelino for Designing Spaces. We'll see you next time. Owning a home means there is no shortage of do-it-yourself projects. One of those projects that is not a lot of fun, and in fact can be quite dangerous, is cleaning out the rain gutters. Climbing the ladder and dealing with the leaves, bugs, debris, and muck is a tiring and potentially dangerous chore. Spending hours on a tall ladder reaching into those gutters is a huge safety concern, not to mention an ugly job. On this episode of Designing Spaces, we're in Alabaster, Alabama, about 25 minutes south of Birmingham, where this home is getting a gutter makeover so that the gutters will never have to be cleaned out again. Gutter Helmet is a gutter system that consists of a textured surface, allowing rainwater to cling to the surface as it flows downward. The edge of each of the gutter guard systems is curved and extends past the edge of the gutter to allow rainwater to flow naturally into the gutter system, keeping leaves and debris from clogging up the gutters. Besides the fact of keeping leaves and debris out of your gutters, um, a free-flowing gutter system helps protect against wood rot, uh, foundation damage, mold in some cases, um, and then water eroding around your foundation and your landscape. Engineered to last a lifetime, Gutter Helmet installs over new or existing gutters. Made of high quality durable aluminum and reinforced with horizontal stiffening ribs, and each gutter helmet system comes with a triple lifetime warranty. Well, we call it the triple lifetime warranty because it has three aspects to the warranty. Not only does it last the lifetime of the original purchaser, but it's transferable to the second homeowner. And it covers not only the material, but the performance of the product, so you never have to clean your gutters again. Only Gutter Helmet has a unique textured surface and a permalife coating that will not chalk, crack, or peel. Available in a variety of colors to blend with your home's roof so it beautifies as it protects. Water is an essential part of our daily lives. It's also a commodity that we tend to take for granted. But have you ever stopped to consider the cost and inconvenience when you lose water to your home sink, shower, or washing machine? And what if your home's basement was damaged by a flood? Imagine a system that could warn you in advance of any potential problems, whether you are home or away. Joining me today is Taylor Crenshaw, an expert on this from Pentair's Flow and Filtration Solutions business. Taylor, the potential for damage from flooding can be significant. Why is this such a problem? 
Well, oftentimes homeowners insurance doesn't cover you for flood damage. And according to the National Flood Insurance Program, a single incident can cost upwards of $30,000 on average. $30,000? That's a big hit to take. It's a very big hit to take, especially if you're not covered. And while your primary sump pump will generally protect you from these situations, if your power should ever go out to your home, your primary pump doesn't work. But with the Myers battery backup unit, because it runs off a of battery, it's able to kick on when your primary pump doesn't work. Oh, I see. Let's go take a look in the basement. Yeah. Well, I can see why they'd want to protect this space. It's very family friendly, and I'm sure they store a lot of precious memories down here. So a backup sump pump seems like a pretty wise investment. So does the backup system work with an existing sump pump, or would I have to buy a new one? Actually, with the Myers battery backup unit, you can actually use any existing pump you have in your home today. And you're gonna be protected for days on a single charge. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Now, what if I were on vacation and my backup system was running? Would that be a big problem? Potentially it could be, and until now, there is no way to communicate back to the homeowner the situation. However, new technologies and sump pumps are addressing this problem and further protecting you from flood damage. Okay, like what? Well, actually, Pentair is the first in the industry to allow you to have constant contact with your water system through a new technology we call Link2O. Now, Link2O allows you to have one single source for email and text alerts if there's ever a situation with your sump pump to help you avoid flood damage. Okay, so what kind of information is available? And can it go right to my phone or my tablet? Yes, you're able to use this with any mobile device that has email or internet access. So once you get that alert, it'll tell you things like your power's off, your internet connection's lost, or your battery backup unit is running. So you can address that problem immediately. And you can also connect your local plumber to your unit, so they'll also get that alert at the same time you do in real time. Oh, that's very convenient. Now, this home gets its water from a well, so what should homeowners like myself know? Well, if you get your water from a well, your system's a lot more complex. You have your well pump, you have piping, fittings, valves, and a pressure tank, all working together in order for you to receive water into your home. On a traditional system, you're just turning your pump on and off. So if anything happens with one of those components, you're not going to know about it until something major happens. So with Pentec IntelliDrive, you're basically inserting a brain into your system. So now it's able to think, react, and diagnose small problems before they become big problems, saving you time, money, and a lot of frustration. Link2O keeps it all connected, right? Correct. All right. Well, we're all natural born communicators, right? We like to stay in touch with each other and with our friends and family, and in many times with our homes. So can you show me an example of how Link2O communicates? Of course, let's go take a look. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is actually activate the battery backup unit. So now that it's activated, you should get an alert to your phone. As a matter of fact, I did. There you go. So now it's telling you your battery backup is running. Okay. Which indicates there's something wrong with your primary pump. That makes sense. So now you can go to mylink2o.com mm -hmm. and view more information on it. Okay. You log in and you'll see all your devices. So your battery backup unit mm -hmm. and your Pentec IntelliDrive. Once you go to your battery backup unit, since we activated it, right. it shows that your primary pump is error. So it's not working. Mm -hmm. And that your battery backup pump Ran. That's fantastic. So now you're able to know what's going on. And it, similarly, with the Pentec IntelliDrive, you're able to see the status of your water system. That's fantastic. Well, thanks so much, Taylor. This has been a great example of how our homes are getting smarter. Thank you. If you want to see this portion of Designing Spaces again, visit us at designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. This episode of Designing Spaces is brought to you by Amana Heating and Cooling Systems. Think about what it would be like during the hot and humid months of summer without air conditioning. Yeah, you know what? I don't even want to think about that. But I do want to think green when it comes to heating and cooling our homes. And I'm sure you do too. There are so many improved and green technologies when it comes to central heating and air conditioning that are energy efficient and more cost effective than ever before. So Designing Spaces decided to come to this beautiful home to check one out. 
And joining me today is Jim with Amana and Gino with Service America, an Amana dealer. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks. Debbie. Thank you. Well, Jim, last time you were here, we were talking about different systems, but this time, let's talk a little bit about energy efficiency. Yeah, we, we do everything we can these days to build energy efficiency into every system we make. I mean, it's a, it's a lot different than 10 years ago, even five years ago. Really? A, a customers are far more tuned in to, to energy efficiency, and they want to put something in their house that, that's going to keep them comfortable and, and also have reasonable utility bills so they're not paying through the nose, you know, just to keep themselves comfortable yeah, in their house. Absolutely. But well, when did Amanda start making heating and cooling units? Amana has been around for generations and, and, and that's a big advantage because that's one of the reasons why Amana units have some of the best warranties in the industry. Hmm. And where are they made? They, they are made here in the United States. Everything is assembled here in the United States in one of four plants that we have here. So, you know, we do everything we can to keep production right here in the States. Perfect. We like hearing that. Mm. We purchased this house approximately a year ago, and when they did the inspection, they told us that the air conditioning was coming up on 15 years. So we figured it was time to replace it. We chose Amana because of the benefits that, that they offer, one being access with your smartphone to the controller, the lifetime unit replacement, and obviously the higher SEER, which is more cost effective for us. And Dito, tell us a little bit about the newer units. Well, the newer units are much more efficient, obviously, and uh, the SEER ratings, which is the actual efficiency rating, is higher. And uh, the new units run variable fans, which increase the humidification and lower electric bills. I have to ask you, my neighbor has an air conditioning unit that is so loud. So is that something that's changed with the newer units? Uh, yes, definitely. Okay, good. <laughs> and I have a card for you. I was going to say, can we go talk to my neighbor? <laughs> okay, perfect. You know, something else I've heard a lot about is the programmable thermostats. Is that something we should look into? Oh, it, it, it comes standard on a lot of different pieces of equipment. You know, it allows that homeowner to go ahead and set up a schedule in their thermostat. And they, they usually do it when they first get the system or the other new thermostat. And it allows them to go ahead and set that up so that even if they're not home, they know that that system is going to be running in a setback mode, so they're not heating or cooling the home when they're not there. Perfect. Extra step on that, today, a lot of the products that we sell have remote access, so that means that you can go through your phone or a PC and remotely adjust the equipment. Even if you're in another country, you can get in and make adjustments to really? the operational characteristics of the system. You can also have fun with that if your husband or wife is home and you can just change it on your phone while they're there. <laughs> there there's a, a limited amount of amusement there, yeah. I like it. Humidity control is very important uh, here, so we're looking forward to that with the new Amana system. What about the maintenance on the newer systems? Is that a, something that we need to know about? Well, maintenance should be done always on any air conditioning system uh, at the beginning of the cooling season, um, closer to the coast twice a year. But uh, generally, yes, every year maintenance should be done on the system. Okay, now what if someone's watching and they have an older unit? So what is something that they should look out for so they know when it's about to die? First thing is your electric bills and the decrease in cooling. Okay. Um, a lot of times people look at their system and they say, oh, it's working fine, and they really don't know that it is or right, it isn't. Right, right. They should call a service technician and have them come out and evaluate it. Okay. Uh, generally, 10 years is about the lifespan of a system, okay. so we recommend at that point in time. Good number, so around the 10-year mark. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of times you'll get abnormal noises, too, with either the outdoor or the indoor piece of equipment, just things that you didn't hear before, and, it, and it's always a good idea, especially before you get into the, you know, the, the, the middle of the summer or the middle of the heating season, right, to get right. somebody out there and take care of it so, so you don't have any unwanted shutdowns in, in the middle of the, you know, the heat or the right. cold. Right, don't outside. ignore any unusual sound that you exactly. hear. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Guys, thank you so much for being here, really thank giving you. us such great advice. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if you've missed any of what we covered here today, we're going to have a link to Amana on our website at designingspaces.tv. Just look for the Think Green video. And you could also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon. Bye. Making a space you can call home. 
living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we are all about. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces. This episode of Designing Spaces is brought to you by Amana Heating and Cooling Systems.